Lucid's a startup electric car company, so our aim is to develop excellence without any compromise. So it's uh, very central to the way we're trying to develop the vehicle, the speed with which we're developing the vehicle, that we can do all the engineering exploration of design alternatives up front in the design process. We're not waiting for physical prototypes for the most part. We're relying on the virtual prototypes, the simulations, as being extraordinarily representative. What we're trying to simulate is really complicated physics. So I believe in, the, in order to improve our product, we need to fully understand the physics behind. So having a software that allows you to do that, to capture the sophistication of the event that is going on inside each and every part of the car is key. Now we looked around for various potential opportunities of different tools to do that and it was clear that ANSYS has got the broadest footprint across all those physical domains. So it's not just a matter of the individual excellence of the different simulation codes that are part of the ANSYS family, it's the fact that the ANSYS provides this platform for linking them together. The most compelling part of that story is that powertrain is much more compact for a given performance and therefore you can give a, a transformed experience for the occupant. Because when you solve all these complex problems, you really need a multidisciplinary expertise, which is uh, it's hard to put together all at once. One of the real valuable things about ANSYS is it's a platform that enables you to tie together those different physical domains into a single simulation process. And we use that extensively, and that's really one of the reasons uh, why ANSYS is such a central tool for us in our design work. From an engineering perspective, what that means is that when you work on designing a specific component, you have to optimize performance while reducing at the same time size, weight, and so on and so forth. The way these different domains interact with each other in a single design is central to exploiting the opportunity to push that design to the limits. So we've just had, for example, a speed trial where we took the vehicle to 235 miles per hour on the test track, which is an extraordinary ability. When you start seeing the results that you get through simulation, how much innovation you can bring to your products, how much performance improvement you bring to your product, they turn out to be a key element of success against your competitors. So when you see that happening, you just want to do it more.